1974 season in Tulsa. This is the A feature. I've just won the B feature, and although the man leading it won enough points to keep me from the championship, I wanted to go ahead and try to make it a big night, and so I'm going to try and win this one also. It will give me the second half if I do win this. I'm starting on the very back, the very last car. Car number is 501, the little orange and yellow car on the last row to the inside. We'll let the Speedway announcer have it now. Ladies and gentlemen, this tonight, right now, the final race of the 1974 season for our modified division when they come around for their parade lap. If you have enjoyed the modified efforts tonight from our little cars and the six bangers, would you please stand and give them a standing ovation? If you do not appreciate it, just keep your seats. These guys have done all their efforts to bring racing to the Tulsa Speedway like we have never seen it before. The 1974 season has been a nostalgic year in that we have had more attendance and they have done more. Ladies and gentlemen, if you please stand and let these men know what you appreciate, this is the best of the modified efforts out here tonight. Okay, this is the start of the race here. Now I'm going to narrate it till right up till the last few laps here. As you see going into the turn, being a 22nd car back, well, it's a little hairy. And so you have to be careful because most of your accidents happen right at the first. But I start picking them off, right? You can't waste too much time. So I start picking them off. Now my wife, this is the first time that she's ever done anything like taking movies, and, but I think she's just doing a pretty good job here. I pick off two here down the straightaway. I got picked off five so far, six. Gets a little congested. She had to change film. Okay, I'm staying down to the inside because the track is a little slick outside. Besides, that's where everybody's running, and when that's where everybody's running, then you have to try and run someplace else. Now, watch this car go out in front of me, and I have to hold off. I saw him coming, so I backed off a little bit, just let him outside to keep him from running over me. I'm running about 7th or 8th now, and we're probably 8 or 9 laps into the race. If you notice, I wait in a turn. I try to set up everybody right before I get to the turn, so I can pick them off either coming off the turn or right in the middle of the turn. Most of the race car drivers, I find, do all, try to do all their driving going into the turn, and they lose so much control. If you have control when you go into the turn, you have such so much better control coming out of the turn. Okay, by picking off these two cars, that put me in about fourth place, but I got a little bit of catching up to do, which I, won't take me too long. It takes me about one lap. This is some of the fans. In fact, uh, that's my mother. My wife had to change film again, and that's my sister, Rita. And I think most of them are rooting me on. Anyway, I hope so. We're pretty close to the end of the race here. I'd like to let the Speedway announcer go ahead and finish the race here. Uh,
by number seven, Marshall Thompson. Praise the Lord for that victory. I didn't win the overall championship. I lost it by 27 points. The champion had 2,648 points. I had 2,621 points. But I did manage to win 10 features. And I thank the Lord for that. We did win the second half championship. This is after the race, and that was my son that just came up and hugged me. And I'm talking to some of the fans and signing a few pictures. That's my sister Rita. We're all pretty excited about it being our final night. Most people think it's just the driver, but Daryl Cleveland, who is my chassis man, half owner, that's him there drinking the Coke right there. He does a tremendous job on that race car and keeping it in shape and keeping the chassis working. Without a good chassis, you couldn't do anything in a race car.